Hey Blockheads! One of the things we talk a lot about in terms of choosing your rigging is stretch. But did you know there's different types of stretch? The most common one is dynamic stretching. And that's what happens when you're out sailing and you say you get a five knot puff and the halyard stretches a percent and so you might have your, your halyard move about an inch. There's also a type of stretch called constructional stretch. The first time you use a rope you'll notice that it gets longer as you're using it. You might cleat it off and then sail for a bit and realize your halyard's gone slack or your sheet's eased out. And that's just because the rope, as it comes off the spool, it, uh, it has to load up the first time and kind of set. That one's constructional stretch. And there's one thing we do with Dyneema, which is an amazing material but does have a lot of constructional stretch, mostly because it's so slick and slippery. We can get rid of a lot of that by doing a process called heat setting. This is done at the factory and what they do is they make Dyneema, they braid it together, and then they get all that constructional stretch out. The way they do that is by loading it up, usually to about half its breaking strength, and then it'll stretch out over time and get all that constructional stretch out. The other thing they do to accelerate that and make it more effective is actually to heat it. Dyneema melts pretty at a pretty low temperature, right? I think it's around 180 degrees, so they go up to almost that. They'll go to like 150 or 160, they'll heat it up, they'll load it up. And when they're done, they have a really low stretch, really stiff rope. You can see how stiff this one is. And uh, that's a good thing because all that constructional stretch is out. And this will be a lower stretch rope even after the constructional stretch gets out because doing this makes it molecularly stronger and lower stretch. One of the mistakes I've seen people make when selecting their own running rigging is finding a line that's strong enough but not matched well in terms of stretch. A line like this is certainly strong enough to be your jib sheet. The problem is this is polyester and it'd be very stretchy. If a puff hits, shape of the sail is going to change. If you're selecting for stretch, you'll probably end up with something like this Dyneema rope. It's strong enough, but it also is going to match the stretch characteristic of your sail. When that puff hits, this one won't stretch and you can keep your sail shape and keep going. Thanks for watching, Blockheads.